Health Update with Robin Stoloff, brought to you by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, making health care work. Trying to have a baby is supposed to be a happy time, but in some cases, infertility issues arise, and a surprisingly large percentage of those are due to the male partner. Here from the Shear Institute for Reproductive Medicine, New Jersey, is Medical Director Dr. Al Peters. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. First of all, what are some of the main causes of infertility? Well, male factor is one of the main causes, 40 to 50 percent of couples. Other factors that can be involved are fallopian tube issues and ovulatory factors. What are some of the challenges when dealing with men? and infertility issues? Well, many of the men, Robin, are difficult to get in. They're a little bit embarrassed and they feel that this should be a natural thing for them to be able to reproduce, but it not always is and we're there to help. What are some of the treatment options? Treatment options have become very high tech. Uh, now we're mostly using in vitro fertilization for male factor infertility where we could take a single sperm and inject it into an egg. So even if there's very little sperm, we have lots of hope and can help these couples. So. It's different from how it used to be. This it's is very different from how it used to be. Success rates in the past were extremely low. We send most of our patients home now with a 50 to 60 percent chance of taking a baby with them. What are the treatment options? Treatment options uh, are, are varied now. Sometimes it's hormonal, sometimes it's medical. We're mostly now getting into very high-tech reproduction. All right, thank you. And I'm Robin Stoloff for Health Update. Brought to you by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey. Making